So there are a number of steps that need to take place before we can upgrade our code to Python 3, starting with ensuring that our code is properly covered by tests. Why? So that when we do upgrade, we obviously want to make sure we don't cause any code regressions. And you could read more about this from the official Python guide on porting code to Python 3. And I'll include this link in the video's description. So as you have seen, we do have decent code coverage right now, but we also need to ensure that each and every time we add new code to the existing code base, that it does not cause any sort of regressions. And this is where continuous integration along with Travis CI come into play. So Travis CI is an application that will run our entire test suite for each commit push to GitHub. So we can code locally, push a commit to GitHub, run our tests, and then find out if all is well before updating our production server on Heroku. And what's more, we can test against different versions of Python, which we'll address in a future video after we do make that conversion from Python 2 to Python 3. So Travis CI is super easy to set up, but before doing that, it must be said that this video just covers the very basics of continuous integration in Travis CI. And if you do want more information, there is an entire chapter devoted to CI in the real Python course that you can see here. And we will also be covering continuous integration in further detail when we talk about deployments later down the road. So let's pull up the documentation real quick for Travis CI. So you can see there's really three steps here to get started. You want to sign in, and then in step two, this this happens automatically. It just adds a GitHub hook to the repository so that each time code is pushed to GitHub, it will trigger a new build on Travis CI. And then we'll also need to add a configuration file. So let's go ahead and start by signing in. So you can navigate to travisci.org and then go ahead and sign in with GitHub. And then once signed in, you'll be able to see your public repositories. So let's go ahead and click here. This repository is actually under real Python. And then we want to go ahead and flip the switch to enable continuous integration, which is just right here. So let's go back home now. Okay, so next let's go ahead and add a configuration file called travis.yml to the root of the repository. And this configuration file just tells Travis CI a little bit about our project. And we can grab an example file from the documentation here. So we scroll up, click Python. Let's go ahead and grab this here. Now let's go ahead and customize this a little bit. So for now, we want to just go ahead and test for Python 2.7. And we want to keep that the same. And then let's go ahead and update the test script. So that is going to be Python manage manage.py and then test. And so now let's just go ahead and commit the code and push it up to GitHub. So we can look at git status. The file that I changed was travis.yaml. So git add and then git commit. And then git push. So let's go back to Travis CI now and see what's going on.
So you can see this is build number nine because I was playing around with this before I recorded this video. This will probably be build number one for you. So I'm getting no module name coverage. So I probably need that to add that to the requirements.txt file. So pip freeze requirements.txt. So let's go ahead and push that up. push so this will create a new build okay so it passed so one more thing that we need to make note of is that there are some environment variables that you are going to need to add and since again I was testing this out before I already had to add them so let's go to settings and then environment variables. And you can see that I have two environment variables here. So let me just go ahead and delete them. And let's go ahead and add these back in. So the first one is called app settings. And here we want to specify our test configuration file, which is found within config.py and it's called test config. Click add. And then the second one is going to be our database URL. So database URL. Let's go ahead and set this to NA for right now. So this is a bit of a hack, but we do need to fix our configuration file, which we'll do in a future video. So let me add this in. Let's go back to our build history. And let's go ahead and just rerun this just to make sure everything is working fine. Cool. And it passed. And finally, let's go ahead and add the build status image to the readme so we can let the whole entire world know that our build is passing. To do that, we can click the logo here. And let's grab the markdown. And copy that. And let's go to our README. So now we can test this out one last time. So get add, get commit, add in Travis CI status badge, and then get push. So now we can check build history, There's build number 11. Perfect, so now every time you push new code up to GitHub, it will be tested. And if you go back to the repository here, let me just refresh this, scroll down, there's our badge there. All right, so that's it for now. Again, for a much, much more in-depth discussion on continuous integration, check out the RealPython course. I will see you next time.